Welcome back here, everyone. I'm Eric Connor. And I'm Stella Escobedo. Let's get back to our top story. 74-year-old former police officer Joseph James D'Angelo Jr. pleaded guilty today to being the elusive Golden State Killer. The deal will spare D'Angelo from any chance of being sentenced to death for 13 murders and 13 kidnapping-related charges spanning six California counties. News 8's Netta Aranpour has the latest on this closing case. Netta. Yeah, they just returned from a recess. This plea deal happening now in a ballroom in Sacramento State. And you're hearing some really disturbing accounts from many of the prosecutors in various counties in California. And their victims, the families, can't attend right now. So they're listening to this. They're all sitting in that ballroom at a safe distance. The attorneys have agreed to have Joseph D'Angelo plead guilty and admit to several crimes for the sake of the victims and the families of these victims. And many of the survivors are in their 80s and 90s. And attorneys just don't want to put them through a prolonged trial, a trial they say could take up to 10 years and cost the state $20 million. You acted willfully, deliberately, and with premeditation when you unlawfully and with malice of forethought murdered Deborah Manning, which occurred December 30th, 1979, in the county of Santa Barbara, a violation of Penal Code Section 187, Print A, murder in the first degree. To that charge, sir, how do you plead? Guilty. So that is one of 13 murder charges that he has agreed to plead guilty to. And you see him right there being brought in, in court in a wheelchair. He's wearing that face shield so people can see his face as he says guilty and admits to various crimes. The judge did ask him if he understood that he'll be pleading guilty to 13 murders and 13 kidnapping related charges. And he said yes. Now, a lot of times his attorney had to let him know what the judge was saying and basically letting him know how to answer those questions. But one by one right now, each district attorney in the many counties throughout California where these crimes occurred are describing the murders and the rapes and the burglaries associated with these victims. And like I said, he's pleading guilty to 13 of those murder charges, 13 kidnapping related charges, a lot of them very heinous descriptions, just horrific uh, what these victims went through. A lot of the crimes also are beyond the statute of limitations. And they did point out today that he will be admitting guilt to those as well. Each time he escaped, slipping away silently into the night, leaving communities terrified for years. For over 40 years, the biggest question remained unanswered. Who was the serial killer and rapist? Detectives from counties throughout the state poured endless resources into answering that one question. Even after retiring, Detectives continue to investigate the case that haunted them. They deserve the opportunity, the victims and the next of kin, to be present when the verdicts are finally read. The time for justice stands in front of us now. So these crimes are 34 to 46 years old, occurring between the years of 1974 and 1986. And we should point out between 1973 and 76, he was an Exeter police officer. During that time, the 100 burglaries happened in nearby Visalia. In 1976 to 79, he was an Auburn police officer, and that was a time span when he allegedly committed dozens of rapes. He was fired from that police department for stealing a hammer and a can of dog repellent. So after these crimes, he then worked as a mechanic for 27 years at a Save Mart in Citrus Heights. He was also a grandfather. And today, in exchange for these guilty pleas, he agrees to 15 consecutive life sentences. He must pay restitutions to the victims, and that amount will be determined by the court later on. Also in August, the victims, those who have survived, who want to, will be able to make their statements and speak directly to him during that sentencing hearing.